I've been looking to upgrade my home network switch for a while and finally took the plunge. This video will cover the unboxing, device overview and some initial thoughts on the Microtic NetPower 16P. During my research I found that there wasn't much content out there for this device, so I thought I would add some to maybe save others from the extensive reading I had to do to gauge the suitability of this device. So now, I hand you over to the angry one. Good bit of news. I was expecting a parcel on Monday, came in on Friday. This is what I've been looking forward to for a while. It is the NetPower 16P. It's a Microtech switch capable of power over Ethernet, auto negotiation, 16 gigabit ports and two SFP plus ports. I've been waiting for a while because there's been stocking issues in the UK and I didn't want to import um, from the EU because of the extra tariffs now. But lo and behold, it's in. So, like I said, this is the NetPower 16P, uh, but it's also known as the CRS 318-16P-2S plus out. Alrighty, let's get inside. So, this is a typically outdoor switch, so uh, it's come with all kinds of mounting brackets. That is not going to be my use case, so that to one side for a moment. Fuzz gone and wow okay fair bit of weight to this by the way uh, what else we've got in here bits and bobs uh, ring ring okay Ooh. so what have we got this I believe is a mounting ring oh that'll be useful for other things uh, yep another one and a bag of bits. What have we got? So, uh, jacks, some screws, and some wall plugs. Yeah, could find use for these. But this, this is what I've been waiting for. Okay, so it's a passively cooled switch, so no fans, just a giant heatsink on here. Uh, unscrew the end, and pull out, and this is the money shot. Yeah, so 16 PoE ports, each gigabit, uh, the two SFP plus ports, um, mini jack for low voltage, slightly bigger barrel jack for the high voltage. So yeah, this is perfect. Um, my use case is slightly abnormal uh, for this switch because it's gonna be used indoors. Like I said, this is for, designed for outdoors for all the security and weatherproofing and all that. But I have a uh, another make critic switch which does 10 gigabit that goes from my office all the way to the NAS uh, over fiber um, so that means I've got a 10 gig switch with a gigabit uplink to a PoE switch to provide power to access points cameras um, Q hubs all that kind of malarkey wanted to bring it all in one uh, package so this is perfect I messaged Micritic to see if this is possible to use indoors they said yep yeah, have had it so long as you don't exceed 70 degrees celsius yeah not planning on doing that so um yeah this is it uh not much more to say at the moment um i'm gonna do a power on actually okay, let's do a power on now. let's stick it in the big hole because this is I went with the Microtic power supply the um, don't know the model number but it's the 48 volt one and I think it does 96 watts or something like that anyway in we go <coughs> uh, blue light of glory down here and I don't think it's going to do much more than this for the moment until we start getting stuff plugged into it Anything? Anything? No, okay. Well, more content for the next video. <clears throat> so, like I said, two power, high voltage, low voltage. This is uh, going to be provided over the PoE. So, um, there's a slight confusion about how Microtic do their PoE. But from what I can gather, if you want to supply 18 to 30 volt over PoE, use it 18 to 30 volt power adapter if you want the higher standards uh, 48 to 57 output on your poe ports plug into the 48 to 57 
two SFP Plus ports. Now, I actually have... Da -da -da -da. Some SFP optical transceivers. Now, I don't know if any of you like me ever worked in IT and had to procure these kind of things, especially Cisco stuff. Um, these used to run hundreds, literally hundreds of do uh, quids, dollars, or whatever it is you use for currency, potatoes, whatever. Now, I just got two for 37 quid. Unflipping believable. Um, so, let's have a try. They should just slot right in. Uh, if you get them the right way around, that is. Oh, glorious. Grab the other one, stick it in for fun. That's what she said. Boom. Okay, so I think what I'll do is I'll get it powered up, get connected in. Um, I'm still a bit fuzzy about whether these ports are set to PoE passive. Now, if they are set to PoE passive and I stick a 48 volt power supply in here, plug a device into here, it's going to shove 48 volts down it and I don't want that. Um, so I've got to make sure that all of these ports are either PoE off or to auto negotiate. Yeah, don't want them set on passive. So I've got to find out what a default is. So I'll probably just plug into one of the SFP Plus ports um, or find a device I don't mind sacrificing going into one of these. Um, so yeah, let's uh, quite that down. Just take a bit of a tour around the device. Okay, so this is technically the front, side, rear. Uh, you notice there's a whole bunch of big, uh, chunky, like, like heat sinks, I guess you call them. Uh, this is designed to be stuck on a pole. So yeah, there'll be pl plenty of wind knocking about the place. Uh, yeah, not much more to say. I'm not going to take it apart. I think there's another video on YouTube somewhere of some guy taking it apart, or at least a page. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I can't be asked doing any re heat sinking, uh, reapplying of thermal paste or anything like that. Plus, <laughs> it's still in warranty. Um, so yeah, these right here are little knockout ports. So I guess when I decide what cables to put in here, knock them out and then put the cables through. I guess it's some kind of like resistance to water and bugs and um, demons or something. So yeah, there we have it. The Microtic 16P. Bit of a beast. Market disruptor, I think. Um, this one set me back £201, including VAT. Um, the power adapter was something like £30 and that's it. Oh, delivery was something like £6 and technically next day. I was expecting it uh, after the weekend, turns up today. So, got a day off work already, um, time to do some networking. Uh, the missus is working from home so can't be too disruptive. But I can get this installed and then start running some cables to it later on when things quieten down. Okay, bye for now.